guys. Hey, it's Will from EDM Tips. So today I'm gonna to show you how to create from scratch five absolutely classic trance leads that define trance music in the 1990s. If you enjoyed this, check out my other sound design tutorials. And as usual, you can download the project, the presets completely free by using the link below this video. So today, these are the five classic trance tracks that I'm gonna be recreating the leads of. One, For an Angel by Paul Van Dyke. Two, Age of Love by Age of Love. Three, Expander by Sasha, absolute tune. Four, Higher State of Consciousness by Josh Wink. Not technically trance, but pff, I don't care. And number five, Cafe Del Mar by Energy 52. And this is gonna be recreating the lead specifically from the three in one mix. This is the kind of thing we go into every single week on the live calls in our accelerator, as well as having one-on-one -on -one sessions, getting your music to a professional level in the shortest possible time through regular feedback, regular meetups, community and resources, and so much more. If you wanna check it out, you can click the link below this video. Oh, and if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it with your friends, consider subscribing to my channel for tutorials like this each and every week, and don't forget to follow me over on Instagram for music production tips every single day. Okay, without further ado, let's hop in to the door and get it done. Okay, first track we're gonna recreate the lead of is For an Angel by Paul Van Dyke, an absolute classic trance track from the late 90s. So I've already drawn out the MIDI. This is how it sounds with a blank preset in Serum, just a saw wave. Let's have a listen and then get to work. So we can hear we've got the harmonies playing. Cool. So first thing we want to do is change this into a pluck sound. Now, knowing that we know that we need to control the ADSR controls, that's attack, decay, sustain, release, for the amplitude, aka the volume. We want this to be a plucky sound, so we're gonna take the sustain right down and then just tweak this decay until it starts plucking like a plucky little fellow. Okay, cool, we've got that already. Next thing I want to do is create a slightly grittier sounding saw wave, just so it's a, it's a bit like old hardware that would have been used back in the 1990s. Um, so I'm, I don't know what the actual synth that Paul used for this, but I'm gonna choose uh, one of these waves, which just adds a bit of artifacting. Next thing that I'm gonna do is, I'll just increase the level of that. Next thing I'm gonna do is add some unison, get it a bit richer. Detune it a little bit. And I want to lose some of the, the low frequencies, so I'm gonna choose a warp mode, go to uh, PWM, which is a pulse wave, and we're just gonna tweak this a bit until we lose some of those low frequencies. That sounds quite nice. Gonna add a, a little bit of noise, which is gonna follow this envelope too. Which you can hear just adds a little bit more attack to the sound. So this is off and this is on. But now we want to add some filter as well. So the filter envelope that we're gonna choose is just gonna follow the same shape as the ADSR for the amplitude. And we are gonna choose a low pass filter. Make sure the envelope controls that filter. And then this is gonna help with that plucky effect as well but we need to get the noise going through there too. So let's select that. So we're pretty much there already, but now we want to go onto the effects uh, and create some of that nice delay that, uh, that we've got on this track. So first thing I'm going to do is choose delay and we want a multi-tap delay so, and a ping pong delay. So the two delay timings are different and it's gonna bounce left and right in the speakers as well. So let's just, Choose one eighth for the left and leave one quarter for the right. Add some more feedback. Take out some of the low end just in the delayed signal. And let's open up that filter just a little bit as well. That sounds good. 
Okay, so now let's add some reverb after the delay, just to soften this sound a bit. Really close. Give it some more volume. And I'm just going to put an EQ on to take the low end out of this. Especially if we've got some reverb on there as well. Just so it doesn't muddy up our mix. And that's pretty much it. Paul Van Dyke for an Angel. Really quick, really easy. Let's jump into the next track, which is Age of Love by Age of Love. Okay, so for Age of Love, it starts off by just using a choral sound for the melody. So let's just play our choral melody with the bass line as well, just to give a rough idea about what we are creating. Okay, we want that chorus sound to have a stuttered kind of trance gate effect, which I'm about to show you. Now I've used contact for this sound. Uh, this is just within the factory library, a core, oh, uh, sorry, a choir sound which you can't really create from scratch with a synth like Serum, so that's why we're using a rompler for this. So what we need to do next is create a trigger to trigger our uh, gate, which we are gonna be feeding in through the sidechain. So if we go to this trigger channel here and turn it back so we can actually hear it, what I've got is just standard sine wave. It doesn't matter what wave you've got, as long as you've got full sustain, no release, so it's really like on and off. And then we are gonna, program in our pattern. And it just goes 16th, 16th, and then 8th. And we've just added these little gaps in between each one to make it really staccato as well. So this is what it sounds like. Doesn't matter which sound you use, again, as long as it's just a solid signal with full sustain. Um, and it doesn't matter which notes they're on either, because you'll never actually hear this sound. So now we're going to change this to be sends only, so we never hear it. Then let's load a gate on our choir sound. So let's just go and find a gate. Let's just drag a fresh one on. Then we need to open this button and take the sidechain input from our trigger track, which is here. And now you're gonna hear this very quietly, our, our choir, because the gate has been closed. But what we need to do is for the gate to open in time with our trigger track and then close off as soon as that trigger track's not playing a sound. So let's take the threshold down until we can see it's gonna be hitting. There we go. And if you take the attack and release, it's very on and off. So let's just smooth it out slightly. With the bass line. And that's how you create that Age of Love trance gate effect for any of your pads in your trance tracks. Okay, on to another absolute classic. This is Expander by Sasha, and this has been requested a lot from you guys, and I absolutely love this tune. It's so lush. So once again, I've already drawn in the MIDI notes. It's a, a harmony line, just two notes playing each time. And this is a bog standard initialized patch in Serum. Let's have a listen and then create it. Oh, by the way, if you're enjoying this so far, give me a hell yeah or an army brother. And if you want to download these presets, Press like, subscribe to the channel, and click the link below, and you can download them all for free. Okay, let's do it. So this is what we've got so far. So not sounding very good, but a great track. Right, so this is what we're gonna do. First, this track uses more of a stab than a pluck. So we are gonna go straight to the ADSR controls, but we're not gonna take the sustain right down. But we'll take it a little bit down so there's still a, it's still a tiny bit louder at the very beginning of each hit, but then it's more sustained and we'll add a little tiny bit of release as well. And next thing we're going to do is create a second envelope for our filter. And this is going to be a much more of a plucky sound. So let's just take the decay down a little bit, take the sustain right off, and then choose the filter. Well, actually, first let's add some unison, get the sound really fat, because it's like a detuned de saw synth. I'm gonna add a second oscillator and just detune this here. So it's quite nice and rich now and powerful. 
And I'm gonna make sure both of these oscillators are going through the filter, boom, and filter. I'm gonna choose one of my new favorites again, the screen band pass. And we are gonna just boost this up a bit. But what we want to do is have this filter move with this secondary envelope that we created. So let's just drag that over to the cutoff, turn down the effect a little bit. Okay, and now the all important effects. So the first thing we want to create is that sweeping like LFO filter. So that means we need a secondary filter. So let's put one on, keep this low pass. Then we're gonna use the LFO and assign that to the cutoff. But we need to make sure that this LFO isn't assigned to the tempo of the track. So we've got like a long sweep set to an arbitrary Hertz amount, which is, that's way too fast. We want this to be kind of opening up slowly over time and maybe not that much. We want this to be a bit, have more higher frequencies. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Let's fasten this up a bit. Add some resonance so you can really hear it. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. You can see that the volume is changing quite a lot, so we're going to have to use some compression at some point. Uh, we could use some first, but we can only use one compressor at a time on Serum. So what I'm going to do is add it at the end, after I've added the delay and the uh, reverb to kind of squash everything together, make it sound cohesive. So let's get a delay on there. Um, again, we need this after the filter. Otherwise, the fil this is the difference that the routing will make. So let's um, just turn that to ping pong, take out some of the low end. So all of our delays are being sent through the filter, but we want the delays to be operating after the filter so that they kind of keep carrying on even when the filter sweeps down. So now you can hear it kind of bouncing around with the high frequencies a bit. Let's turn the rate down up for the LFO. That's better. Bit of reverb. Whoops. The reverb needs to be put after the delay. Routing matters, people. And now we want to kind of bring out the energy a bit with this compressor to, uh, to fatten everything up and stop the volume changing too much. So we'll take the compressor down and then let's apply this. So we can see it's being applied when the notes are loud, but we want to bring our quietest notes up to roughly the same level as our loudest notes, so that's why we need to compress. We'll have a fast attack and release. My commute seems slow since I've updated to Monterey, so I wouldn't bother. In fact, I'm gonna try and downgrade it again. Anyway, now everything's being compressed together. You can see it's being compressed there. So I actually made a pad earlier, so I'm gonna see how much like this it sounds. So if we go to my pads here, stab, will expander, let's see. That's what I created earlier. So just a bit better, but just more careful use of this stuff. But yeah, that's it. Sasha Expander. Okay, on to the next. Now we have got an absolute classic for everyone. Even if you don't like dance music, you'll know Higher State of Consciousness by Josh Wink. This is actually the hardest. This took so long and it still doesn't sound exactly the same, but 
I think I've got the kind of the rough idea of the feeling of that TB303, the Roland TB303, with the distortion to get it absolutely screaming. So let's dig into that right now. So first thing we need to do is bring in our synth. I'm just gonna load up, a, again, a blank preset from Serum. Let's open it up a bit. And then the next thing to look at, which is really important, is the MIDI, of course. So let's just have a quick look at how I programmed this in. We double click there. Here is the riff that we've got. So let's have a look quickly at what, we, what we've got going on here. First thing you'll notice is that a few of the notes have got a, high, a much higher velocity, and we're going to use that to our advantage very shortly. The next thing to notice is that some no notes overlap each other. This first note is kind of playing whilst the second note's playing. But we need that to create a portamento sweep, much like the TB303 when they had their glide or slide. I can't remember what it was called. I think it was slide. And it would make the notes slide between each other. So let's get to work. First, we're going to change this to monophonic because uh, the TB303 was a monophonic synth, which means it could only have one sound playing at, at once. And you can see the difference in velocity there. Okay, we're leaving on saw wave, and the next thing we want to do is um, choose, well, we want to choose legato, which means this envelope won't uh, start afresh when it slides up to the new note. Then we are gonna create a bit more of a, a, a plucky sound, but we still want some sustain. So that would be completely plucky, but we want some sustain. Now we want to create the portamento so it sweeps up between those, those notes. So now you can hear it's going do it instead of do 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 it. That's pretty much our basic stuff. Now what we want to do is create a filter for this. So we're just going to turn on filter, low pass filter. We could use a different envelope. We probably should because we might want to control those independently of each other a bit later on when we get to automating this sound. So it's roughly the same shape. I'm gonna throw that onto the filter and let's have a listen there. So now we're beginning to sound a bit like a TB303. Now what we're going to do with this velocity is assign this to the cutoff as well. And this is to take place of the accent feature in the TB303, with which you could accent certain notes. So what we've got is our higher velocity notes are going to open up that filter a little bit more. So you can hear that wow wow. And let's see how that coincides with our MIDI. Okay, so now we need to make this thing scream, and it's all about this distortion. This is the hardest thing I found to do with this, so I've actually just left the heavy, which is an amp setting, and amp comes with Ableton Live. It's just a distortion unit, but you can use many distortion units. But listen to the difference it makes when we bring this on. I might have to take the volume down a bit. difference it makes now you've got that distortion on. and now what happens is when we start opening up that filter and adding some more resonance and the controls that you would have on the TB303 would be for the cutoff filter um, for the resonance and also for the filter envelope as well and it's going to be a bit hard to do that all with the mouse uh, so what I'll do is I'll just program in a little bit of automation over a few bars and you can hear the difference it makes so let's open this up and get that higher state of consciousness vibe. Let's just consolidate those all together and start by automating the cutoff, the resonance, and how are we going to automate this, this sound here? Maybe 
with this control. Yes. Here we go. So now we can open up the filter, the resonance, and the modulation amount of this envelope to, to the filter. And as I said, this isn't going to sound exactly like the track, but it should help you get a close enough approximation for your own music. So let's open up the filter over time, like so, and the filter resonance, and that's really important. We might need to add a uh, compressor, although the distortion will be compressing it as well and not allowing it go up too high. <laughs> These high velocity notes are, are jumping too far um, on the filter, so I'm going to bring the velocities closer together using this. But again, it, you know, it's experimenting with different distortion units that's going to really give you that sound. One that doesn't completely kill the high end that you need. But there you go. Anyway, roughly speaking, a higher state of consciousness by Josh Wink. And then we move on to the final of our classic lead synths today from Trance Tracks. And that is Cafe Del Mar by Energy 52. I mean, come on. Yes. Yes. So to start with this sound, what I'm going to do is actually use a serum preset that I got from Splice. The reason being that we actually want a violin sample loaded into this and we, we are using the wavetable to play through that wave and that's the only way to get that kind of violin sound. So this is what it sounds like at the moment just with the preset loaded in. So firstly, I would note that on the MIDI, I've ad added some groove, and that's to give it that da -da 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 rhythm instead of da -da 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 -da, because that's from this track. And I've actually made some changes to this preset. So let's have a look at what's going on. Firstly, you've got the two oscillators, and you've got a sub oscillator. And the sub oscillator just gives it a bit more weight and body <coughs> with that saw wave. And in terms of the main envelopes, you've got a very short, sharp pluck. The second envelope is a slightly longer pluck. And I'm not sure what that's assigned to at the moment. Let's have a look here. Envelope two is assigned to the volume of the B oscillator. So it's automating this level here. I don't know how much use that is actually, but it was already programmed into this sound. But let's develop this sound slightly. So I'm gonna give it a filter. And what I've done is actually assigned this envelope to the low pass filter. So if we take it down, we'll hear that. Uh, but I want this sub oscillator going there as well. So it's being affected by the, this filter. And then we've got more high frequencies there. And a bit of unison on um, these pizza, uh, pizza, pizzicato sounds and now let's go into the effects and then we're going to layer it up as well. So for the effects let's put a little bit of EQ on there, taking out the low end, nice and simple. A little bit of distortion to add some more grit, not much, just a touch. A little bit of compression and that's boosting up the volume without actually doing any compression, it's just the gain. In fact it's probably a bit loud. So let's get it actually being compressed. Just to even out the smooth sound a bit, add a little bit of chorus. That's not really doing anything either actually, so we'll leave that off. Then the delay. Which again is not really doing anything. And we'll leave reverb off because we're about to add reverb on the group level when we've got the second sound um, kind of locked in. So for the second sound, all I've done is I've created a serum preset. And this one's really simple, so I won't even bother doing it from scratch. All it is, like the other presets in this uh, tutorial, like from the beginning, especially for an angel, you've got a saw wave, you've got a very short, sharp envelope, and you've also got the same envelope assigned to a low-pass filter, and that gives it this sound. 
kind of like the TB303 as well. And that's just to add a little bit of bass underneath this pizzicato. pizzicato. I'm twittering it so. so you can hear it's now adding that in. Now, this is really important. We're going to group them together, add some reverb, and then compress everything together with that reverb and both layers as well. And that just gives us a really kind of upfront, present sound. Reach for the lasers. So there you have it guys, that is Café Del Mar by Energy 52. I really hope you've enjoyed this. As I said, this is the kind of stuff we go into every single week in the Accelerator Live group sessions, except of course you're asking me and my co-coach what you want help with, where in your production you're struggling. We can zone right in, help you out so you can get back on the track and get producing professional sounding music as quickly as possible. If you do want to check it out, there's a link below this video. And yeah, don't forget you can download all of these presets completely free. I'll give you the MIDI as well so you can kind of recreate some classic tunes if you want. And fantastic. If you enjoy it, please like, share, subscribe. And until next time, cheers and happy producing. Yeah.